my guess is it's a bit different to what you usually get from me. <clears throat> I'm just on my way up for my brother because uh, we're off to a, like, a little bit of a small meet. Thank you. Right, so modifications and everything else. Something new, I don't know if I've sh done a video on it already, but is the snap-off steering wheel. Uh, it's quite flimsy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, if you're gonna buy a snap-off steering wheel, then make sure it's certainly not a cheap one. It's meant to be a, re a, a genuine Sparco, but I think it's actually a replica. But, yeah, I'm, I'm now on Cooper S wheels which I'll see if I can get a bit of a video with later for you. And I've put a few more stickers on. You've seen that the I've got the Team LC one, but I also have, I also have the um, Adam H logos on here as well, who's gonna be doing a bit, little bit of music for me for when I'm at shows and stuff. You can probably see that the car's a tip, which I'll apologise for. That's because we got it back on the road and it's pretty much been like a shed for the last few days. I've also changed the dashboard and the side doors, which I'm quite impressed with. And I've also put new uh, rear lights on. So it has been busy, but recording wise, I haven't really been able to record much. Um, I've had a lot going off in my mind, uh, mainly a lot to do with Emma because it's coming up to a year. On the 18th of next month, that's like a year that I've that Emma's been gone. I need to sort out the rattles on this. Uh, we're hoping to do a track day before the end of the year just to see how this goes. But I can't really do much until I've put new bottom ball joints on, which uh, shouldn't be too long. So you'll have not heard the exhaust on this, which is, is, is quite a good exhaust, to be fair. Oh, and I've also put a new front bumper on, which is a different colour. So now I've got a silver front bumper on a yellow car. Well, yeah. I've got a few more like abandoned places that I'm wanting to go to. We did end up going to two, which turned out to be pretty bad to be fair but I will put the video up anyway um, well we're just coming up to the bypass now <sighs> on our way yeah I'm gonna have to get some videos or pictures or something because I've realized that I'm not recording that much oh gearbox is done Right, cause I'm in the wrong lane and I did that on purpose just so that I could put foot down a little bit. I've just seen Kieran. So I'll give her a bit of a shout out for that, mate. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that's what the exhaust sort of sounds like. But I did hear my phone go off, so I'm presuming that could be Danny. I'm hoping to put, uh, yeah, new bottom arms on, new ball joints, new subframe, everything. I'm hopefully doing everything and polybushing as well, which I will be putting it on a 40 mil drop, I think. But we'll have to see. We'll wait and see what happens because uh, money's not been the best issue with us as well. I mean, it's rare that I run this below half a tank, and I've now got just below like a quarter, which the light will come on soon. But yeah, it changes gear smoothly now. It turned out that when I had the gearbox done for the first time, 
uh, the pressure plate wasn't actually bolted in properly so we had a bolt loose on the pressure plate but it's seen to there one for documents <laughs> Get out of my car. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking on. <laughs> We're on. Yeah. Don't have one. Fucking hell, I don't own it. No, because race car, innit? <laughs> Weight reduction, bro. I need some centre caps there if you know anybody that's got 18 player transit here with centre caps on. You know the new shape transit custom? Cool. Them fucking flatbed ones. <laughs> What's he doing? now for a chat. <laughs> <laughs> Is he on? I don't think he's on. I think you're running out of battery, it's flashing red. Hello? <laughs> I don't think it's on. Have you got a lighter?